Hi everyone, welcome back to our meditation series. Today we're gonna to focus on immunity. So of course now more than ever, but just always, we want to strengthen our immune defenses, keep our inflammation low, and allow us to feel our most vibrant, powerful selves. When immunity is strong, it's likely because our inflammation is low. So it's almost like the scale. You can think of high immunity, low inflammation, high inflammation, low immunity. Inflammation is just simply the ability for the body to, let's say you get a cut on your arm, the body is gonna come in and heal that space. That's acute inflammation. So it, inflammation to an extent is very beneficial. Where we get into trouble is with chronic inflammation. So that's when we have high amounts of oxidative stress whether it's from lack of sleep, processed foods and sugar, elevated stress levels, whether personal or professional, environmental toxins. There's a lot of factors that can influence our inflammation. So a couple ways to quickly play a role in lowering our inflammation will be to minimize those processed foods and sugars and instead eat more foods that are going to be nutrient dense with antioxidants that are protective compounds, mostly found in plants that are gonna lower our inflammation. So that comes in the forms of berries, dark leafy greens, even dark chocolate to an extent is a great way, great, great different nutritional items to incorporate into your day. Another great way to lower inflammation is going to be getting quality sleep. We talk about that a lot, but it really is the ultimate repair for our body. When we're sleeping, the glymphatic system turns on, which is when cerebral spinal fluid flushes through the brain, clearing out brain plaque, toxins, and inflammation. So setting up for quality sleep is gonna be a great way to lower inflammation and strengthen the immune defense. And then finally, and there's a lot of great techniques out there, but today we'll just focus on three. Finally, I'll, I'll turn it over to Adam to share some of his techniques and breathing exercises that's going to help strengthen our immune defense. Yes, thank you, Nora. So this is a great, great topic because it's where we really get into the mind-body connection. They're not separate, even though it may feel that way sometimes. And a really beneficial approach to where we're about to head into uh, comes from the title of a book that maybe everyone should have on their shelves. It's called You Are the Placebo. And basically, it's about how our mind has the power to heal ourselves immensely or, unfortunately, wreak havoc on our system. So our mind is our best friend or it can be our worst enemy through stress, through worry, through lack of sleep and all the things that you're talking about. Um, and we come with a sense of uh, openness to the, the proven new research on neuroplasticity, which basically shows that our mind can create neuro, new neural pathways that we're not stuck and that we can actually uh, heal, realign, and increase our well being and our immunity through the power of our minds to a great, great extent. So, as I said, you know, we know that. If we're stressed, if we're afraid, we watch too much negative news, our body feels it. We feel just heavy, afraid, contracted, sick. You get that burn in your gut when you're stressed, right? So that's the bad news. The good news is the opposite is true, that when we tune into the right, right visions, the right ideas, the right breathing, the right sleep, that our natural homeostasis is going to just unfold. So. The practice we're going to do today, it is, I will acknowledge a bit, probably not normal for most of us, and it's okay to accept that it might be a little out of your comfort zone at first, but in time, you're going to feel better and it'll be worth it. And that is the idea of, uh, I'll call vision feeling. So it's using the power of our mind and our awareness, along with relaxed breathing, to scan through our body and do an internal realignment of how we feel and thus our immune system increases and they've been known to use this now uh, for pain management uh, at some of the leading uh, 
medical centers in the United States. Um, they use it for people dealing with cancer, you know, uh, cancer and things like that, just for to, to help using your mind to heal your body and raise your immunity in a nutshell. So for this, you know, close your eyes, definitely. And of course, in time with the earlier meditation practices we did of just settling, concentrating, getting clear, we'll be able to do this probably more effectively. But for now, we're just going to get the taste. So let's just take about three to four breaths, kind of settling in, natural breathing. And we just acknowledge that our incredible, beyond belief, immune system, that body wisdom that beats our heart, that makes the countless functions work, that heals the scar that Nora mentioned when we get cut without even having to do a thing. That incredible intelligence within us wants to come back to homeostasis, to ease, to alignment. And what we're doing is we're cooperating with it and then we're beginning to visualize how our system is in that highest, healthiest, most aligned way. So already the whole system has begun to calm with just that awareness of breath or awareness of space. And all we're gonna do is begin to do a very quick body scan you can think of it as vision healing. So start at the crown of your head and perhaps you've got a little bit of that chi energy at the crown of your head. And you're gonna use your newfound awareness to begin to wash down across your forehead, which relaxes. And you're gonna get a sense of your brain space Often our brain is fired up and exhausted at the same time. So many stimulants, so many thoughts, so many images, past memories, future things. The brain can get tired. But we begin to sense what if our brain was calm, clear, sharp, and all those old stress neuropathways were beginning to dissolve because we didn't use them anymore and instead new bright, clear brain connections began to fire up. Our brain and our mind became fresher, crisper, clearer, and know that it's already happening. And then you begin to wash down the awareness across your forehead, your jaw, and you keep a lot of tension. Many of us in modern times, we clench our jaw even when we're sleeping because of un unconscious stresses. And we begin to sense what if those areas of tension in our jaw just relaxed because we were aware enough to let a lot of those unnecessary stresses just dissolve. And then the awareness just gently begins to drop down deeper into your throat, into your traps and your shoulders, which is another hot spot for tension, tightness. And so with a clear mind, a more relaxed jaw and neck and shoulders, your immune system, your natural well-being is already beginning to just return. And that body scan continues down into right in your chest and your beating heart. A heart which may be racing a lot. Maybe a little tired or a little clogged from just a lifetime of exertion, dietary choices which you're beginning to change. And imagine the heart just so strong, beating just right pumping rich, pure blood throughout every cell of your body.
And again, that sense of wellness, homeostasis, is just beginning to spread through every cell. And you begin to use that awareness to just kind of scan your whole body down through your belly, your pelvis. Muscles that were once tight begin to loosen. Bones that were perhaps a little bit weak or tired from non-use or old injuries begin to strengthen. Just like that scar that heals through your natural wisdom, body's wisdom, your whole body, all the scars of just modern living, so to speak, are beginning to heal. Toxins begin to dissolve and flush out. And your entire body-mind system is lighter, clearer, calmer, the way it's meant to be and can be with just a little wellness practice each day. And so acknowledge that perhaps you've got just a little work to do. Old habits and conditioning can take a little time to transform. But we acknowledge that one day at a time, we can begin to come back to that natural wellness, high immunity. All it takes is a little practice. And so for just about three more breaths, kind of settle into that new state. Pure, healed, aligned, and on the path of wellness. We can begin to reemerge as our eyes open. And we are back into our healed, aligned state. And that's a little taste. Thank you, Adam. Thank you all so much for joining us for our series. We will continue to great programming that just builds off of all of these amazing core principles, but know you can tap into these anytime. So it doesn't require, again, more than 10 minutes, more than five minutes even to change your state, to shift your physiology and allow all of us to have an even better day. So thank you for your time, energy, and patience. We look forward to seeing you soon. And thank you so much, Adam. Thank you. So wonderful. Thank you.